my name is Joelle Langevin, and today I am going to take you through my journey of becoming Google Cloud certified. I'll give you an introduction to who I am, a bit about my certification journey, the impact it has had on my career, and then leave you with some takeaways. So let's get started with an introduction. My name is Joelle, and I'm a solution engineer at Google Cloud. I am currently a Google Cloud certified professional data engineer, associate cloud engineer, and professional cloud architect. I'm really, really happy to be here today to share my story with you. It's interesting to think of my journey as a three by three by three. Three countries, three states, and three certifications. I was born in Guyana in South America. I grew up in the Bahamas. And in the USA, I have lived in Texas and New York City before eventually moving to California for my current role. I have always been an inquisitive person since birth. For example, in Guyana, my father used to buy mint candies before church every week, and I used to divvy them up amongst my family to make sure that we all had the same amount. Over the years, that natural instinct for data and analysis has led me to grow into a thoughtful and analytical technology professional. And I'm really grateful to be in a role here at Google that allows me to own in on and grow those skills. Now let's look at my certification story. I have bucketed today's story into three major milestones in my journey. They are moving to New York City, growing my network, and deciding to move forward to become certified. I have been a user of Google Cloud tools for about three and a half years now, and I have been working in the cloud space for about that long as well. My experience really started when I first moved to New York City. I moved there for a marketing engineering program in the advertising technology space. And after that program ended, I got a job as a platform analyst at a small startup. And I'm really grateful for that role. That's actually where I started to get my hands-on GCP experience. My first step into Google Cloud was with BigQuery and the client interface. And about a month and a half after I joined the team, our company was actually acquired by another company. And that is where I was introduced to how to work in multi-cloud environments. Since the company that acquired us was actually working with another cloud service provider at that time. So I learned how to integrate and how to migrate data across cloud services. And as I continued to grow in my career, I eventually became a consultant where I was introduced to the world of cloud architecture and how to use various Google Cloud tools to build a full solution, then document that solution with technical documentation. All of this was really valuable to me and it all started with my move to New York City. I not only got hands-on Google Cloud experience, but I got Broad Cloud experience as well. The takeaway that I want to note here is don't be afraid to change. Have the confidence to take the first step. Now, moving on to my network, I highly, highly recommend that you seek out and nurture healthy opportunities to build your network. This is what really helped me expand my confidence as a technology professional. I grew my network through meetups, industry events, and organizations such as the Houston Google Developers Group, which partnered with women tech makers for some of the events I attended, and meetups in New York City, such as the Tech Yes Diversity in Tech Meetup, along with the Houston GCP User Group. Check out your local tech community to see what's available to you. If there aren't any or many options, I encourage you to create one. Now, I just shared with you that I did have quite a bit of hands-on experience on the Google Cloud platform. However, what I have come to realize over the past year or so is that I was more so thinking of myself as someone who knew how to use a tool rather than someone who was a professional in the cloud industry. And when that thinking really turned around was during the Google Cloud learning workshop, which is one of Google's diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives to bring more perspectives into the cloud industry. 
One of my favorite parts of the workshop was meeting with other professionals with varying years of experience and varying levels of expertise in the cloud space. This really helped to broaden my horizons and deepen my understanding of the use of GCP across use cases. I realized that some of the professionals in the room had been working on technical infrastructure concepts before the concept of cloud computing was even widely known. And I also realized that there were professionals in the room, like myself, who were learning about technical infrastructure concepts through cloud computing rather than the other way around. And what I noticed in conversations with my cohort is that I was actually able to share knowledge and ideas as if I had been working in this industry for five or 10 years. And my confidence grew dramatically as I realized that I really didn't know what I was talking about as a result of my hands-on experience in this new industry. When you get that boost of confidence, you continue to grow it. And that's exactly what I did. This is and really was a great turning point for me as I continue to grow as a leader and a technology professional, since being able to speak clearly and with confidence is an important trait of being in a leadership role. My takeaway for you here is to identify your goals and surround yourself with others who have achieved something similar or who have achieved something bigger than themselves and begin to network with them. You might be amazed at how that can transform your mindset as well. So now, with all of that being said and done, as I continued to grow in my confidence, I was also introduced to the world of certification itself. Previously, I had seen certification as something that someone with many more years of experience than I had would go for, and maybe I could go for it in a few years as well. However, after my experience in the learning workshop, I began to realize that certification could be the right route for me. And I also saw it as a great achievement to really solidify my cloud expertise. And when it comes to the action of taking the exam, this is a wonderful story that I'm proud of as well. I took the Associate Cloud Engineer exam in August and did not pass. It honestly was so disappointing because I was looking forward to passing it as many of us do when we take exams. So I did take some time to be disappointed and then I decided to move on. I took a look at the areas in the exam that I felt the most uncomfortable with. And then I also explored exam topics in general across the Google Cloud certifications. And throughout that review period, after reevaluating my skills, I realized that the data engineering certification was potentially the right route for me, especially since I was coming from the world of data and I had hands-on experience with cloud technologies in the data space. So I took the data engineering exam and passed. I was so excited. It was actually three weeks after I had failed the Associate Cloud Engineer exam and I was happy and proud of myself. Fast forward to February of this year, when after months of study and months of additional practice across the Google Cloud Platform tools, I was able to pass both the Professional Cloud Architect exam and the Associate Cloud Engineer exam on the same day. My takeaway for you here is to stay focused and know how you learn best and let that lead how you study for the certification exams if certification is one of your goals. Becoming Google Cloud Certified had an important impact on my career. This impact included immediate career benefits, long-term professional gains, and new opportunities for mentorship. In terms of immediate career benefits, in the role that I was in at the time, becoming certified opened doors for me to attend a really cool industry conference on behalf of my employer at that time. I felt like it was a really cool reward and a great opportunity for me. And it also provided me with more of a voice in the project engagement that I was in at that time. Now on to long-term professional gains. A big one has been the opportunity to work at Google. This has been a dream of mine and a goal of mine for a while. At Google, I am a solution engineer on a team called the Cloud Solution Studio. And what we do is really, really cool. I, along with my team, build assets for our sales teams, which demonstrate Google Cloud solutions across use cases. 
In my role, I have the opportunity to build on my Google Cloud certifications and knowledge to use storytelling, design thinking, and project management skills to bring our solutions to life. I have been at Google for over six months now, and it's been really great. I got involved in the Black Googler Network, where I have a great buddy who has given me advice and has also just been a great friend, including giving me recommendations for hairdressers, which has been really useful since I'm new to the Bay Area. I have also been pretty active in Google's outreach efforts, including our Grow with Google initiative, giving back to the cloud Google Cloud Learning Workshop, and other certification outreach efforts. And last but not least, getting certified has opened doors to mentorship. As part of the learning workshop, I met someone who is actually still one of my mentors to this day. I reached out to her and we stayed in contact. And now that I'm here at Google, I'm able to meet with her on a regular basis and talk about how I am growing as a professional. I really do value her advice and her input into the growth areas that we discuss. Now, before we wrap up, I do want to share some takeaways that I think would be valuable for you, no matter where you are on your journey and where you are in your certification path as well. The first is to look at the growth goals that you have set for yourself and have the confidence to take the first step. It can always feel daunting to do this. In my case, it was daunting to look at others who were certified and think, well, I can be certified too. Yet, it required me to take the first step. For me, that looked like being part of the learning workshop, taking courses and studying diligently, and even taking the first step of registering to take the exams. I encourage you to also have the confidence to take the first step and believe in yourself. I would also recommend that you proactively build your network. Seek out opportunities to learn from, partner with, and help those who have achieved things similar to the goals you have set for yourself. Also consider seeking out guidance from those who have achieved things bigger than themselves. This will help you to better understand what it takes to get where you need to be, and it will help with accountability along your journey. It can be really easy to make goals and then not follow up. If you have put certification as a professional or even personal goal for yourself, then go for it. Proactively build your network and make sure that you have a level of accountability. And consider giving back by being a mentor to someone else, especially after you're certified. Last but not least, discover your unique approach. This can take on numerous meanings. In the certification space, I would say to discover the way you learn best and craft your study plan around that. As an example from my end, I realized that I learn best by testing myself, getting hands-on experience, and being able to tie that experience to the concepts. So knowing this, I crafted my personal study plans around those principles. I recommend that you take a look at your experiences as a learner and see the ways that you have learned best. Then take that and create a personal study plan for yourself. Make sure you're being true to yourself. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate the opportunity to share my story with you and hopefully being able to inspire you to craft a story of your own that you can be proud of. Be sure to check out the appendix of this deck for additional certification resources. Have a great day and perhaps I will see you soon.